I'm Brian Summers, photographer, artist, and content creator, and your host for 1,000 Words. In this episode, I'm going to share a story on how a legendary Harlem Taylor turned a dancer from the American Ballet Theater into a king. I met Gabe in February of 2019. I remember because I shot Gabe for a Black History Month shoot and it was for Age of the Creative, shout out to Ian. Gabe and I spoke briefly, and I shot a few more people that day and I remember that he said he was a dancer. I didn't know on what level of dancing uh, Gabe was on. I just heard it and I thought, oh, that's cool. I would like to shoot a group of dancers one day and you know, exchange contact information but never really followed up later that year um close to the fall we met again at another age of the creative event we had a chance to reconnect and gabe invited me to come to his studio again at this time i'm thinking studio okay yeah cool everybody you know if you dance you should have a studio you have a place where you work out or your place where you practice your your uh, routines and your choreography i noticed it was in union square it was close to where my friends stay so i figured hey this would be a cool trip uh you know after i'm done shooting i can go hang out with my friends we can shoot around so i get down there and i see out front of his studio is a huge flag that says abt and i'm like why why do i why do i know this uh, abt american ballet theater it's one of the most prominent ballet theaters in the world so I call Gabe, Gabe comes out, we go inside, they let me know that you know, I can't take pictures in certain parts of the of the, uh, the studio, which is fine. And we went to one room, he began to dance and have a personal training session basically with uh, an, an instructor. I'm not sure what her role was, but it was just Gabe and her. I was still shooting with my Fuji X100S, I missed that camera. Uh, we were in you know low lighting situation and i was just capturing gabe dancing and leaping and in that moment i was realizing that you know, you know he's working up a sweat usually when you think of a dancer you're not thinking of someone who is an athlete you're thinking about someone who's an artist they're performing their art but an athlete you see them exercising their art if that makes any sense but in that moment i saw gabe leaping and he was like if I was thinking in basketball terms, like he had hops, he was getting up, he was looking like the Jumpman logo. And I'm thinking, wow, this is amazing. And at the end of the session, I realized, you know, this is basically just like an athlete going to a workout session and going to the gym and practicing and doing their drills and doing their, um, you know, weight. Well, this wasn't weight training, but it's calisthenics. So you're still getting stronger. So in that moment, I was like, oh, this is, this is awesome. I can see the art and the athlete in the same session. I want to take this time to let you know that this video is brought to you by sumsbrand.com. I recently rebranded my website so that I could include more than just photography. See, being a multidisciplinary artist, it's hard to choose just one thing to put forward. For the longest, it's been photography, but my first love is drawing. I'm a designer by trade, and there's so much more that I can do. So instead of just restricting myself to photography, Sums Brand is where everything adds up. So whether it's photography, graphic tees, or wall art, you can find it all at SumsBrand.com. Now, unlike the first room, which was filled with mirrors, this next room was filled with tall windows, and you can see into New York City, the windows are old as the building, so they're looking like Gotham City. And they're casting huge uh, shadows on the floor. It's that time of day. The the room is kind of shady or dark, if you will. Um, but to me, I'm thinking this is perfect for the lighting. Uh, it's real dramatic. Between the mirrors and the large windows, I don't know what I liked more. These tall windows didn't allow a lot of light to come in, but it was enough to bounce off the mirrors that wrapped around the room. And they gave the illusion that the room was bigger and it was very dramatic. And I had another chance to see Gabe leaping through these shadows and into the light and stretching and 
doing different types of moves i'm ignorant to a lot of dance moves clearly but it was just you know an, an amazing sight for me to see and again i left that situation feeling like gabe is an athlete just as much as he is an artist you know and as all dancers are so you know i left that situation with a new appreciation for that uh medium of art now after that session we had a chance to talk and gabe was telling me about what his plans were for the week and where he was with the american ballet theater it was close to fall so they were coming up on their fall gala which is like the opening of their season it's one of those events where you want to walk a red carpet you want to make a you know, make a good look for yourself make an, make an appearance now, gabe being one of only six i believe uh black people in the american ballet theater it's pretty hard for him to get casted as a prince or any you know top role now gabe had auditioned for roles like this and he was often told that he didn't look the part he didn't look like a prince so when he told dapper dan the legendary tailor of harlem about his trouble being casted as a prince dapper dan replied we'll make you a king so when Gabe showed up to Dapper Dan's Harlem Atelier to be fitted for his kingly robe, he walked up in this place that was dimly lit, furniture and the upholstery and the drapery, everything about it screamed plush and luxurious. The robe was gold on gold, everything about it seemed royal. In the end and in reality, Gabe did walk out feeling like royalty. You know, in a way it was kind of a full circle moment going from photographing Gabe for a black history series to seeing him being living black history to getting fitted by living black history and this is this wasn't even February <laughs> it it made it it made it all make sense to why these people were all in the same company so definitely shout out to Gabe uh, it was cool following you at the ABT as well as Dapper Dance Atelier and I look forward to seeing what Gabe does next. You can follow and find out more about Gabe at Gabe Stone Share on Instagram. I'll list all his information in the show links below. And stay tuned for the next episode of 1000 Words. Subscribe, like, comment, mention, and definitely share this episode. If you're on YouTube, hit that bell for more alerts when the next 1000 Word episode drops. And every week we're streaming live on Twitch right after this show, talking more about 1,000 words and the photos that we've discussed in this episode. Until next time, peace.